All right, guys, welcome back and welcome to Atomic Heart. I am hoping that this game lives up to the hype. There's been a lot of speculation about this game based on the gameplays that we've seen. It's got everything aesthetically to be a phenomenal experience. Atomic Heart takes place in 1955 within Facility 3826, a fictional top secret USSR military base built to manufacture robots. Scientist Dmitry Sekhanov has created a special substance called Polymer, a neural network collective and plan to launch its next version, introducing a new thought device, allowing humans to control robots with their mind. But the plan was sabotaged, which resulted in the unleashing of a technological nightmare. Yeah, this is definitely my cup of tea. A massive thank you to my good friends over at Focus Entertainment for the early free copy of this game. To be able to get these videos started up early here on the channel. So sit back, relax, and let's do this. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Wow. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> this looks incredible. Chelome City floats on the Icarus platform. A Dude, look of at the water, huh? science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. My goodness. Hey, color me impressed. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh... Uh, sure, thanks. Sure, thanks. What is happening? Oh, that was really good. I'm like kind of mind blown. Uh, Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Dude, this is so trippy, man. Wow, what a beautiful day. I've I've always been fascinated and scared of of a future with with robots like this. I'm just seeing it now. What's up with your Volvas box, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Wow, bro, look at this freaking... My God. Oh. Hi. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. My gosh. I'm pretty excited about this game right now. I, I don't know what the future holds, but... You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. 
there's just so much going on. Like, there's a lot going on in this world right now. It's not. <gasps> Look, I don't know what to say. This is dope. No rest Comrades, for the wicked. Icarus platform residents and facility guests. All right. The address by the director. Got a robot cleaning, mopping the floor. Well, Brooming the floor. Is that the right terminal? I'm just gonna shut up. Let's keep going here. Got this guy selling cookies. What is that? Step right up. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrades. Collective. Good day, comrades. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuro connector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Uh. Okay. All right then. This. With Collective 2.0, iPad <laughs> will be on the moon in no time. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Uh, this is oh, good. That's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, man, you stink. Hey, you. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, a chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, Glove. This is, they're all selling it. This is the third person selling it. Man, I love the way the water looks. It's so freaking... It's just so crisp, right? The fidelity on the water is incredible. Oh. The voices of the robots are kind of trippy. Got a little telephone booth. This is so crazy. All right, let's just go. Let's let's. Assemble near the Brown Plague Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Okay, that's it. That's all you got for me? All right. Talk to you later. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. All right, let's keep going. We're going around. We're headed over to the lab. Got another robot here doing our civilian duties. It's not really a civilian. Whatever. Is it a civilian duty? I don't know. It's a robot duty. This is the library. Is it not? Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. 
a personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. I don't know why I said library. It's the laboratory. The laboratory, right? I, I don't know. I was thinking about something else, perhaps. That is trippy. It's like a DNA scan. What the hell is that on my hand? Is that coming from my body? You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Oh, we're throwing up the uh, the L sign. Okay. So tap RB and hold RB again to activate. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, <laughs> sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Okay, cool. Hidden objects. What is going on here, huh? Some robot training? I like it. Can I go up there? No, I can't, of course. Why would I even think that's a good idea? It's coming. Yeah, that's that's freaking creepy. Oh no. A robot building a robot. That's interesting. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Oh, this is freaking crazy. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to the future. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary fix. I don't I don't know what the devil is thinking, but man, the creativity the that it takes we know. to come up with a universe like this. And I know the game's been in development for a while. But... So glad no, to see I'm you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. Just look. The car is waiting. You must Soviet go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. He's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Okay, this is one hell of an elevator. Oh, it's all the ray tracing on the ground too. 
Finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. Mm. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Uh, let's go to Sachenov's Sachen office. Is that how you say his name? So much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Let's go. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. Dude. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, comrade major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Why, thank you, ladies. Careful, you might break an ankle there. It's quite a pose you gotta hold for quite some time. Oh, okay. I'm out. Let's go back downstairs. Just came down here to pick up a key. Apparently. Now, this has been... This, this is, I mean, it's only 20 minutes here. in. This is great. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Okay. Look at the... You can't really see it here as, as, as well as inside. But the ray... Like the reflections... Yeah, yeah, ray tracing. It looks pretty good, man. And so far, performance-wise, is top-notch. I mean, I'm not really stuttering. I'm not... I don't have any issues. Maxed out settings at 120 with ray tracing. And 120 because I capped it at 120. Anyways, is this our car? Our turbine? Seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? 
The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from in every I get it. City. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics, robotic workers from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? I'm going to take that off. There's just no way. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. Bro, look at you this. can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemey Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. Dude, look at this world. This is crazy. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant, performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to a hundred orders per hour. Wow. Like Amazon deliveries. <laughs> Did you see those robots with boxes? Man, this is nuts. Again, like the devs, the creativity. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. Okay. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. All right, that's the little planet we're in. Really we are planet, now but... flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, oh. and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Oh my gosh. And this, this plot so far Our is brief pretty... guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. This is pretty interesting, the plot so far. Major, Petrov is initiating combat maneuvers. Uh -oh. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? What the hey! Do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. What the f- You have reached your destination. This is, this is the robot apocalyptic plan taking place. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh! oh what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Oh my god. Bro, you imagine how Fuck. freaky oh, this could bitch. be? Fuck that. Oh my gosh. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Well, there's some sort of 
emergency signal going on. Oh, help me, comrade major! I'm falling! What the shit? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Oh my god. Well, there you have it. I'm ready. Let's do this. Again, I've got no idea how the game is going to play. It feels great, looks beautiful. I'm very optimistic. I guess that's us. Yep. Quite the beard. I like it. we're in some sort of apocalyptic robot world and we're gonna get our first melee weapon it seems Ooh. give it to me i can feel it it's calling me what the heck Ooh. okay wizard this is p3 come in Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. Oh, God, please. Can, can I do this? Oh, God. Do you want some bacon? Oh, no. I can't do that. I. Oh, God. What about the chicken? Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry. Oh, hold on. Really? I've swum through polymer plenty of times and I haven't drowned yet. It's a freaking miracle of modern science. Wait, what? Where am I? What the heck? So you swim through this thing? What the hell? Okay, so here are the robots. Hey, how are you guys doing? Ah! Alright, uh, to deal damage. Oh, that's the heavy attack. To dodge attacks. Oh, beat a dodge. Okay. Oh, you guys ain't that bad. Oh my god, this is awesome. Hey there, little piggy. Oh, dude, that's brutal. Holy cow. I know I wasn't gonna kill him, so I'm fine. We're fine. I feel terrible. Those are like trees or... Uh, the heck is that? Holy shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? 
clearly. All right, can I hop over the fence? There we go. Help! Somebody help me! It's a robot, man. What are we doing? Oh, hi! Shit! Uh, get away from me! I don't trust these robots at all. Ow! You bastard! Oh, go fuck yourself! <laughs> Get the fuck you gotta love the mustache. Ooh. Okay, that's new. Hello. Hey, what Grant. are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. <laughs> Beneath oh. us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's... Basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla. Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked! Oh! No good. Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah. Like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What the? What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Yo, Grandma's crazy. Take that. Eat shit and die. We're just saving the pigs. Get that thing? No Give it to way! Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit! Oh, that's not that's not good. My goodness. Alright, what's going on? Where are we going? We're going pretty deep down. And we keep going lower. That's that's phenomenal. Where the hell are we? Are we in hell or something? Damn. We're like a couple hundred feet down. Alright, what's the first thing we, we do? We Light up a cigarette and, and smoke it in one hit. Wow. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Okay, well, that is impressive. Oh, there's looting. Finally, okay. Near old capsule. Things are starting to open up here for us. Oh, we'll use this. Alright, we gotta go up there. Should I help this guy? Or should I smash him in? Yeah, I think smashing him is... Oh, look at his head. Thank God this is like all robots, so it's not like, you know, blood and all that stuff. Don't have to really worry about being demonetized or chopping people's heads off because they're robots. So, it makes it all much better. The graphics in this game are so nice. Alright, so we've got this. That's probably going to come in handy. And we've got... Uh, He almost got away. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. 
right now, I'm in. Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away. I've got a grenade. Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster. No, listen to me. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the... You got it already. Turn the table and open the door. Oh, oh, he needs some help. Oh, God, what is that? Oh! What the heck is that? Okay. Shotgun shells. Where's the shotgun? Quick access menu to open the inventory. Press and hold X. Oh, this dude left me a shotgun shell. Oh, y'all don't... Fucked up. All right, I don't want to curse, but screw it. Here we are now. All right, now this is another very important thing about this game. The gunplay has to feel good. If the gunplay does not feel good, we're 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 screwed. All right, so this has to feel good. So how do I swap? Is there a way to fast swap? There we go, left and right. All right, I don't need. Oh hi. Automatic doors. I like it. Safe areas. So break rooms are the game's safe areas. Each is equipped with a manual save machine. Well, that's nice. And a nice little chest with some more shotgun shells and synthetic material and metal parts. Sweet. Well, the whole lore behind this game is phenomenal. Can I break this? Really wish that would have been the case. That would have been oh, whoa! And the machines rose from. All right, hold on. Forewarned is uh forearmed. Forewarned is forearmed. Okay, so enemies can perform power uh, power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. All right, so dodging. Come on, bro. Give me your best yeah, shot. You some advice. I'm kind of uh. busy right now. Try to oh, what is that? More powerful attacks. Oh, that's an arm hanging powerful. from that. Get up off me, man. Well, collect resources. Won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Really? All right, so collecting resources. If there are a lot of crates in front of you, hold RB in the direction. Okay, and move from one to the other without releasing RB. This will allow you to collect. Oh, it that's wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. Dude, that's amazing. Why hasn't the game ever thought of this? Gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and then... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me. Let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we are... Oh, sorry. I'm allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. So that's really cool. That you can just hold it and loop. Oh my god, that's awesome. So what do we have here? Order from the comrade uh, Sechenov. Director of Facility 3826, all employees of Facility 3826, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization on June 10th, 1955. Make sure everyone signs the protocol after the procedure. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. There we go, let's kind of crouch. So we can also do stealth attacks. Just, oh. Oh. Okay, I like that. That's cool. Have a 
seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Koltsov some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? Okay, well that didn't work out, did it? gonna try and loot as much as possible here even with all the looting we really don't get a whole lot of bullets seems like we're getting more parts than anything else to craft later on possibly another one hey, is that a pair is it working all pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off this allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Okay. Another one of these here. There's a lot of notes left behind. Okay, those are different employees here. Of the following employees from the pesticide workshop escort to victim A. Nailova to Vavilov Complex. All these employees are to receive additional hazard pay for three working days. Draw up the paperwork for them to trip for the trip and make sure it gets done. Be kinder. Go ahead here. Just keep Hey, moving. glove. My name is Charles, comrade major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Yes, apparently... Apparently we can pick this lock. No way, dude. Hold on. See if I can figure this out. <laughs> wow, that is cool, man. Let me loot here a little bit. Sorry, fellas. Sorry about that. Back and loot this. There we go. Some metal parts. Oh, God! So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Yo, they're going crazy! Oh my god! Oh, and they're fast too! Okay, I'm stuck. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on, I need health! Screw this. Get out of town. Suckers. <laughs> Alright, so... These robots can get a little intense, as you guys just saw back there. But nothing to be alarmed about. We should be A-OK. -okay. As a Soviet side- Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. 
All right, love and robots. My dearest V, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. That robot was in that stall, hiding there, like a sicko. Got a chest here of sorts. Open that up. What does it got? Ooh. Reload the shotgun. Thank you very much. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Uh oh, that's not good. Wow, I just got crushed. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who oh, are that's they? not good. They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? <gasps> Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Oh! Forceps. Forceps, forceps, what forceps! Was that? I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You what? got this. Where what are you the going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Oh my Get god! Out. Larissa! What? Oh, he just chopped them in half. Whoa, dude, relax. Life is not that serious. Holy shit, avoid the beam. Yeah, clearly, you gotta avoid the beam. Huh. Come here, little dork. Come here! You dare mess with me? Oh, God. Oh, this guy knows fucking MMA now. He's take one dough, kicks, slash. Look at that Sp spinning roundhouse kick. Oh god! <laughs> Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. This is exactly what's gonna happen if we let robots be part of our civilization. I'm telling you, man. We're gonna be doomed. Hopefully, 50 years from now, nobody's watching this video in the in the distant future and uh, is hiding in a bunker regretting everything. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. That's cool. And you have a timer, it seems. Oh, that's gnarly. I like that. It, it worked! <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on. The music is kind of creeping me out. Everybody's dead. I, I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. What the hell is Nora? Hi, Nora. Nora! She's a fridge, man. What are you talking about? Let me save the game here. What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stud! I can't get enough jocks. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. 
Wait, what? Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. How do we do this? Various dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute. Ooh. I love to Kinky. Fly. I'm on fire. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, <laughs> sugar. Anything from my master? What can I do for you? I don't even know if I'm doing this myself or if it's the game doing that. Oh, okay. There we More go. More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, cool. So this is a skill tree. Nice. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Really? So your glove can produce an electromagnetic discharge that targets enemies and deals electric damage. Robotic targets are especially vulnerable to electricity. Hmm. Alright, we got it. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. Mm. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so Yo, I can chill. make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. But I can do so mm. much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. What? Cool. Use this powerful <laughs> weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. Whoa. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Yeah, this this robot's out of control, man. What is wrong with it? Are we allowed to upgrade uh, anything else? We'll keep this for now. We'll go ahead and save. Saving data. Another audio log. What's with the Vobas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular BOBA 6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Come back to me when you can. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scan. Uh, supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little freaked out about this. All right. So what now? We gotta go to the waypoint he put. Okay, perfect. Up this way. We gotta be careful for uh, 
any of these crazy robots around. Yo, this is trippy as hell. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. Okay, so by throwing an object elsewhere or temporarily disable disabling it by using shock. Alright, good. So the shock also does have some sort of regenerating delay time, which obviously makes sense. Go ahead and loot this. Got another one over here on the left. Oh, and it's only temporary. Oh, God. Oh, my God. If we get caught here, we're so screwed. Go ahead and loot before it's too late. Thank you. He's got to be in here. Just aha! You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Good. There's only one robot, so no big deal. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are. Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. Okay, let me just loot up a little bit here. We got another audio log. They say Monday begins on Saturday. But I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, National polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th. And our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anyone who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. Oh my god, dude. Oh god, get off of me! Jesus. All right, let's get out of here. Can I drop down? Yes. Of course I can. All right, everything's fine. How do we get to that? I think it goes through here. Are these double doors? Yep. Right up in here. There we go. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Wow. Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. What are you doing asking a glove if you like cookies? Psychopath. Oh, hi. What happened here? This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. Oh, it's so cute, but creepy. What is this? The decoder. Regarding your question about the functionality of the beam, 
decoder. This bulky system is a passive security device. Yes, as you corrected, correctly remarked, any child could operate it. But while this child of yours isn't entering combinations, a signal is sent to the security panel. And the guard on duty can stop any unauthorized actions. Whereas in an emergency, it can be operated by an untrained employee. Also due to the software limitations, robots cannot control the beam decoder, which reduces the chance of an error in the event of a robot malfunction. Does that answer your question? No. <laughs> Congratulations on your promotion of the programmer planner of the Vivilov complex. Okay. Let's give this a go, shall we? The passive security relay. Unlock the passive security relay's functionality by putting the magnetic fluxes in the correct order. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Okay. Got it. Totally got it. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I'm gonna take his suggestion. The one on the right. Let's not be an idiot about it either. Hopefully, we've made the right I've choice. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Wow, we're such assholes, dude. I'm just trying to help you. Jeez. Don't be such a douche about it. If you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me. Please continue. Alright, so use shock on enemies to stop them in their tracks, or even kill them. Okay. Let's calm down. I'm stuck here. And I don't like it. I don't like getting stuck! Oh, really? I was aiming at the robot, not the door! Yeah, he's dead. He gone. All right, let me take a little pop of this. Ooh, another safe station. Excellent. Ooh, and we got some shotgun shells. We can also do some upgrades as well, but I feel like we can hold off on that a little bit. We could save the game. Let's see how long we're going to be in this cable cart section for. Oh. Well, that's artistic. We got some blue boxes here. Thank you very much. Where are we? Uh... Oh, you can actually hover over and read the banners. Science creates the future. Progress begins with you. Oh, man, that's awesome. Oh, my goodness. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Oh my god, there's a chest right here. Oh yes. There's also two crates back here, or one I guess. So I just realized that if you hover over certain writings on the wall or anywhere, it, it actually gives you the subtitle. That's awesome. I was a little concerned at first. I'm like, how am I going to be able to read what's going on in certain areas? And well, I guess we just figured it out. All right, let's let's play this smartly here. These cable carts are going to be coming full speed ahead you can swim through polymer i've done it before it's nice actually kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean it's so peaceful all right so polymer is that thing we came across last time that goo like substance and i guess we're gonna swim all right let's try this out hold on should i try and go over there first 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should. Hold on. Before we hit the polymer. Before we hit the polymer pool. Let me just make sure there's nothing here. Like this little crate back here. You see this? Based on what I've seen from this game so far, it's going to be really heavy on like upgrading and acquiring materials to do those upgrades. So It's important to loop. To emerge from the polymer, use B. Alright. This is so uncomfortable. Like, I don't even understand what what the thought behind this idea was. We're going to make a goo that you can swim through. I mean, a lot of things in this game have surprised me. It's just so different. Which is always pretty cool. Alright, so. I'm assuming... Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. Alright, let's check this area out. Oh, we've got a save here. Well, that's always good. We've also got a chest. I will take that. Oh. Oh, we just got a handle for the axe. All right, hold on. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Okay, so time for an upgrade. I need to shoot better, okay? Let's see here. Time for an upgrade. All right, so that's the human upgrades, correct? What is this? Shock electrifies enemies. If we go down here, we've got the telekinesis, we've got the polymeric jet. Switch to crafting. Okay, yeah, I want to go to crafting. Here's the axe. Consumables, ammo, and cartridge. We can upgrade the axe. If we go to grip. Is this what we just picked up? Okay, but we don't have enough to install it. We need 24 of a certain type of material. We also have a You know what? I'm going to I'm going to save up a little more before we start getting a little adventurous with these upgrades. In the meantime, our search for Victor continues. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Well, that's a smart idea. The schematic. Need to find the schematic. Who said that? Uh, what was that? Hello? Sir? They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neural polymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. That's pretty cool. Alright, so the schematic, the one I need to move the cars, where is it? The schematic, the one I need to move the cars, where is it? The station master has it. He didn't make it. He wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Okay, so are you sure the station master has it? Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master, find him. Find him. Get the schematic. Got it. I'll look for it. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I've fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. The talking corpses, that's a uh. new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. 
Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. So basically, you, you die and you stay dead and you know it? There it is. Oh, there's the code. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with this garbage? Okay, I think I've got an idea. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. Okay. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they going to talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. That worked! Yes! Alright, we're in. Let's go. Yes! Alright, should I be looting? I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. I was gonna say, should I be looting before I enter this cart here? I don't know. It seems like maybe, maybe I should go check... Let me check back here real quick. I don't think we're going to go upwards anyways. I think we're going down below. And there is absolutely nothing. What a waste of life. This has been an entire waste of my life. Five seconds of walking we for are nothing. Ready to depart. Ten, it was like nine, I'm in Disney World. Let's go. Eight, I know seven, this is going to go horribly six, wrong. Like We're probably going to crash and die. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. It's just one of those predictable. I, I might be wrong. I don't know, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. Oh my god! Of course. <laughs> now we've got cards with robots. Oh, just as I expected. Oh, now we're going in circles. And what did I say? That we were gonna crash and die. We're not dead, so I, I got it half right. Fuck. I knew it was gonna be rough. That's right. Oh, whoa, whoa! Shit. What the f careful? There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Okay, hold on. We need to find a way to move forward. Frankly, I'm having trouble figuring ah! out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. We've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Bro, like, my right trigger doesn't work! Okay, here we go. Oh my, I can't do a regular attack! It's not working! Oh, this is not good. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do a basic attack and it's it's just simply not registering. Ow. That looked like it hurt. Thankfully you're full of wires and programming and that bones and tissues. So anyways, let me see if I swap out the weapon. What the f Wow, are you kidding me? Nah, I need a refund right now, like right now. All right, hold up. Let's let's go down here to this really creepy cave. It's not really a cave, but you know, whatever. Um, I don't suppose I'm supposed to be down here. Wait, can I climb this? Tap A near a pipe and climb with the left. No shot. Oh my goodness. This is phenomenal. All right, let's go. I shouldn't be, I don't know. I shouldn't be fanning out about this. It's just basic. It's 2023, man. This should be, this should be essentially the, the standard in video games. Okay. Climbing pipes. No big deal. Oh my. 
keep going. The game so far has had little bugs and issues here and there, which are a bit irritating, like that melee weapon not really working for me. I don't know why the Sam is getting intense! Holy shit. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Oh my god. Oh, this is just fucking great. So there is some sort of worm now trying to kill me. Or whatever that is. I don't I don't know. What the hell is that? Oh my god! Oh, time out. Time out. Yeah, let's just Charles. That was a bit off, right? A, a towing robot. A bit off. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible. <laughs> My goodness! Okay. What the? Oh, crap. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. These things are crazy. These are the ones that shoot laser, right? There it is. What is that, a roundhouse kick? <laughs> oh, God. I am absolutely fed up with you. Enough. Damn, I could have electrocuted him as well. Whatever. Man, those things are resilient. They can, they can pack a punch and they can take it. All right, but it seems like we've got our... I think we could go in through. Ooh, here we go. Wait, we've got a bottom floor, and we've got a top floor. What is this? What is this sorcery? Oh, it's the same. Man, it's the same thing. All right, so we got to go through the vent. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can loot up as much as we can here. We got a little box down below. Another one right here. Got some cabinets up top. Anything else interesting here? What is this? The irony, comrade. I took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, comrade? What's so ironic about that? Why is there a ban on exporting them? You weren't on the Burovs. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and in a month, you'll have a complete subway system or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell. It's the moon they were going to use them for, terraforming. So they're top secret and their armor is tougher than a tank's. PTA plates unmarked, cutting edge science. Wow. What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Barav roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here, wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what, like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Wow. You? Worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Buravs. We moved mountains. Built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. The machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs 
love, care, or it'll descend into confusion. The irony comes. Well, that's not good. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. The machine's mind is like a child. If not, it'll turn into confusion. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Okay, we've got to be careful here. This this does not even look remotely safe. Be a goodness. Okay. Um. Oh my God! Stop. What a nice trip. What the heck, dude? Man, this game is intense. Like, there, there could be moments where it could be slightly challenging, and I'm going up here because I saw there was a chest, and so I'm going to grab it. God. And now we'll head back to our regular scheduled programming, which is continue searching for Victor. So what do we have here? Uh-huh, shotgun shells. Well, that's gonna come in handy, right? I should probably pull on my shotgun. And reload, nope, don't need to reload it, perfect. All right, we've got a save, yeah, we've got a save station in here. Oh, oh, that feels good, yeah. That feels real good. Okay, just some cartoons. Could I save? Yeah. Oh! What the heck is that? That's a fox blueprint. I don't know what a fox is, but that looked pretty deadly. Okay, I don't think we can go through here. I think there's a door that should... Oh, yep. There we go. And this is the peaceful atom, which is the heart of the Soviet mechanization. This is, this, honestly, this is kind of creepy. The nation of science and industry was built by the hard-working... Peasantry. Peasantry? 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 Hello? Uh, what? <gasps> oh my god! Laser wall. That's some serious security. Bro! People put them up for a reason. If you see one... That means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Why are these robots so angry, man? I mean, I know why, but it's like, calm down. You don't have to throw that guy into the freaking laser. I mean that that I mean look, oh my god. That is that is terrifying. Honey, you're back. Oh god. What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh-huh. Like I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Mm, okay, so then. Uh, let's just get to give work. me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Whoa, what? Don't let her boss you. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes, yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. What is up with this game, dude? <laughs> Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. I thought I could bring the ladder here. All right, here we go. 
Ow. That hurt. That thing packs a punch. I'm... Oh, we're good. We're good. Fine. What the hell is this? Oh, God. Here we go. Ooh, a cutscene. Are you okay? Is everything ready? Did you pull it off? Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. That's us. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. Wow, so it was a, the people that saved us. When you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to chill me. save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. Oh, this can't be good. Oh, this can't be good. Hello? Oh, they're just gonna keep flying out of there! Oh my god, guys! Let's calm down! Freaking crap! All right, enough is enough. Get the, get the heck out of here. Ooh, that was a collateral. I want some of this too, you little freaking asshole. Let me, let me heal up real quick, please. You're not even worth a shotgun shot. Here you go. That's right. Where's that little helicopter? Come here. pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. The Trav ran off with a mobile power source called a candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Okay, so... No problem. We need to find the candle. Go through the door. Um, all right, let's go to this side. It's pointing this way. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Interesting. Okay, we've got another dead guy here on the ground. Let me just check the area first. I'm sure there's nothing important here. We're gonna have to go through those vents. Can I speak to the dead robot? Let's see what he has to say. They're in the wall! Can't you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! I'm really scared of them! Okay, so you've got nothing to be scared of. You're dead. Hmm. Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. Oh, that's just great. Well, let's go find out. Down here to the right, another person crumbled into a little ball inside a vent, dead, with its own body decomposing. Got another chest here. Oh, there it is. Hold on, before I pick it up. That's that candle looking thing, right? Oh, it doesn't look like a candle. It's that ball that, whatever. What 
do we have here? Oh, a handgun. No shot. Let's go. Oh, dude, let's go. Hold on. Let's open up the door. But I really like that. There's been a decent amount of little puzzles to open up certain doors and stuff. That's been really fun. Oh. Another audio log. Prisoner, psychologist notes, Petrov. So, you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. All right. So, do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's right. So I suppose it goes in here. Ah. Oh, Victor, we're coming for you. The loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. All right, let's... All right, so those things can actually harm us. Well, that's weird. Those are just construction tools. But maybe they're being manipulated. What does that do? Oh, that slows it down. Ooh, interesting. I have a feeling those tools are, are are painting a bigger picture for us than we are led to believe at the moment. Like that, right there. Perfect. Now, what does this say here? Automated archive number 18. Am I missing anything here? You can easily pass by a bunch of tables like I just did and miss the loot. This is crazy. It's like almost everything has loot inside. So this one can squash me or cut me in half. I, I don't know. Whoa. Yeah, that sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> Why is my character so upset all the time? <laughs> Stop being so angry, man. It's not that serious. Well, it is, but just relax. All right, we're going to go down here. Where are we? Find a way to hit the polymer. Alright, there's like tracks on the ground. These things appear to have some sort of rhythm going on. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Hold on, I gotta go up there. Ah, oh, dude, what the heck? <laughs> There's even fish swimming here. Oh. Well, what the hell, man? Nope. Okay. Okay, calm down. There, there, 
there, little robot. There's no need for that aggression, you fucking bastard. Alright, let's see. Alright, can I open this up? Negative. There's more robots here. I probably ought to be careful. What the hell is that? What is this? Well, what do we have here? All right, hold up, dude. Bro, don't play with me. Oh my god. Help, help. Help, 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 help. I got this little handgun as well. <laughs> Bro, these guys are freaking me out. Like, it's not that difficult to take them out, but they are freaking me out. <gasps> oh, we got a camera on the left, of course. <laughs> Shut that crap off. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Thank you. I will gladly take your resources if you don't mind. Hey, can I go through that polymer? What is this thing, dude? This is the Luna. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. I've got one. Oh, so that's the one we found. Okay, we got two more to go. Perfect. All right, no big deal. All right. Just give me a second here. Let me loot up this place. Looks like we're going to need all we can get in our adventures ahead. So we're going to get prepared as best as possible. It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Oh, sorry, Charles. I just cut him off. I feel terrible. What is this? What is the point of this room? What the hell's going on here, dude? Um, Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. I didn't see this. Don't you look at this. This game is trippy, man. I've been saying it. I've said it a couple times already. But it is trippy. Oh, what is that? The Electro? Well, that looks cool. Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, <clears throat> comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. She does. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. She actually has one of the canisters we're looking for. Ah, oh, that's just my luck. There it is. She also has the Electro. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, my God. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes. Scold me. Punish me. 
I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough will Bro. this ever end. Don't get flustered over such little things, sugar. I made you a present. You're gonna like it. I promise. I'd like to pull the plug on you. But it's too bad I can't do without your help. Okay, well, I will say. This is a pretty nice weapon. Or at least it's a free weapon. And if it's for free, it's for me. Let's see. Wait, where is it? Oh, she's making it. Oh. Wouldn't you look at that? I don't know who's going inside of you, girl. But damn, you... You wildin'. Straight up. Alright, so this is cool. Do you like it, Chuck? Instead of bullets, energy weapons consume your gloves energy through a cable, which is on the bottom. Oh. I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. So, do I have enough? Do I have enough to... Oh man, I have enough for this? For the fox? So this is a three damage. And one, two, three, and seven attack speed. Versus. Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, you know what? This might not even be a good idea, but I I, I don't know. This looks good. I probably ought to create it. I know I just spent a whole lot of up, uh, materials there, but look at this beauty, man. This is awesome. Let's go. Oh, this looks so gnarly. Oh, God. What a cool freaking... Yeah, I felt like the other one was a bit slow, too. I feel like hmm, I need to get this. I need to organize all these things here, but that's fine. We'll go for now. Let's get out of here. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithm... What was that? Overloaded? You can overload your inventory. Oh, that's not good. I've got another one. Your rucksack is overloaded. Uh, done. I think it worked. Bro, what are you talking about right now? So this is my rucksack. My inventory slots. Okay. Um, nobody told me about this. We are pretty... So what do I do? Like, if I want to get rid of this... This takes a lot. This takes three slots. Can I sneak up behind this little stupid robot here? Thinking <laughs> this place is huge, and it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. God, visit the Nora repair vendor often, and do not forget to learn active skills and upgrades for your weapons to complete missions as effectively as possible. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Oh, this is good. <clears throat> the seed bank is the treasure trove of the Babylon complex. 
a collection that is enriched daily by both experimental samples and stockpiled seeds, seedlings, and pollen of terrestrial origin. During the war, Vavilov's Leningrad stockpile numbered 250,000 samples. Today, the accumulated number of samples stored at Facility 3826 is over 500,000. Every year, scientists across the globe discover around 2,000 new plant species, which is exactly the number of new samples the Vavilov complex contains annually. Okay, good. So I'm going to save here. And before we do, ooh, the KS-23 electromagnetic barrel for the shotgun. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. <laughs> I gotta upgrade my piece. Uh, let's see if we can do some upgrades for us. Alright, what do we have here? So we... Amplified modulator and upgraded uh, an upgrade to the electromagnetic unit that increases the effective range. I feel like we need a character, something for us. Increases your maximum, dude. That's clutch. That is money. What is this here? The photon sink increases your suit's laser resistance. Your excellent physical ability grants you an additional dodge charge. Shields you from all damage when dodging. Oh, that's great. Every major worth their salt must be able to run a marathon. Increase your running speed. Your glove can surround you with a narrow polymer shield that protects you from melee and ranged damage and redirects part of the neutralized projectile's energy into the re. Okay, so that's the shield. That's fucking. That's good. Additional charge. I'm gonna go for this. A uh, dodge charge. It's good. So the polymeric shield defend against enemy attacks and instantly counterattack. I also like this man. Like this melee weapon is freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and save that up just in case. Uh, who who else wants some of this pie? Huh? I'm serving pumpkin pie. No, I'm not. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Oh, we've got another chest. I don't know where we're headed, but hopefully it's somewhere good. Oh, I think I missed a couple more. Uh... I probably ought to just hold it instead. Here we go. Crispy critters. They're most certainly uh... crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Oh. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised. Oh god. Uh. Oh god, this is not good. Okay, this this is not good. We are in trouble here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Man, I love this axe. This thing is quick with it. Uh, okay, that's not good. Oh, God! Give me a second here. Give me, give, give, give. Okay, okay. What the freaking crap is this? Not doing a whole lot. Ugh. 
get some of this, sucker! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Took out an entire squad of robots. All right, hold up, hold up. Give me a second here. Yeah, they they can start really teaming up on you, and you you get bombarded really quickly. Let me try this move here. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, this is much better than the first axe we had. I don't know if with like maybe some upgrades it'll be a different story, but right now, in this current moment, this is really good. Let's get the hell out of here. Gotta get out of this seed at bank. Let's close that up. Maybe send Emergency it back downstairs. Control systems malfunction. Critical security system failure. All personnel evacuate the seat bag immediately. Man, I hate those cameras. You don't even see them. Well, this is not good. What is this? Robots are taking over the world. I don't like it. Alright, so I've got no power left. You've only left me with one choice. My handy dandy axe. I still have a handgun, but I don't know if I want to use the handgun for these bastards. Maybe just one. There we go. That ought to do it. <laughs> Alright, let's loot up. I mean, it's some sort of trade off. We spend the bullets, but we get the parts. So. Should I grab that chest? I probably should. I don't know if I'll be able to come back this way. What do we got here? Oh, fuck. Will you stop? Damn, bro. Just gonna go for it. Oh, my God. Holy cow. Yeah, we're pretty high up here. I don't know if this is the way. But I saw the chest and I just... I kind of felt obligated to. Alright, sweet. So I'm assuming maybe swim on the polymer. And then we'll be able to go back. So we'll be able to go back to where we came from. Uh -huh. Oh, that's perfect. Excellent. Oh, man, it feels good to be back in here. I will say it feels good to be back. Oh, shoot. The Electro EMP Generator. Probably should wait a little more before doing any other upgrades. Saving data. But here we go. Alright, so. Weapon ergonomics. Use energy weapons, guns, and melee weapons wisely in order to allocate your resources efficiently. Hmm. Whatever that means. Critical security system failure. All personnel evacuate the seat bank immediately.
Bro, for one chest, I am not going down there. I'm sorry. Screw that. I'm gonna follow my path of least resistance. And, uh, what the hell is that? Stop it. I said stop! <laughs> Please, stop. It doesn't have to be this way. We can all get along. What the hell? Okay, maybe it does have to be this way. How freaking annoying, man. What is this garbage? So that electricity, those little flying robots spew out, is that like them repairing certain robots? All right, we gotta do this quick. Oh, extended mags. Send up here. Another chest. There's another chest over there as well. Realize that. Can I grab that one? That one seems relatively easy. Let's see if I go through here. And if I climb up here. And then I do a little 180. Climb up here and grab it. That was excellent. Okay. So now we can get out of here. That laser's still on my ass. Screw it. I'm going in. I'm not gonna waste any more time. What's going on here? Oh, we're on the other side. We were on that part just a little while ago, right? Hold on. I know you're here, Petrov. <gasps> You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you 10 seconds to surrender. 10 seconds and that is it. Not one more, not one less. 10 seconds. Is that him over there? Oh, he's got the candle. That is him. Let's listen to this audio log first. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me alive, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? Well, you're a brainless mutt, you know that? According to biometric readings, this is patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Oh. Shit. All right. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time mm. is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. All right. What is this? Oh, this is cool. 
Huh. That's so cool. Man, these puzzles to open up doors, I, I, I'm fascinated by them. They're so nice. Just gotta be careful. This is exactly where we came from. Yep. Should I save the game? I probably should save the game, to be honest. Let me save the game. And in the meantime. Oh, whoa! Fire cartridge? What is that? So, what will it be, Major? What the heck? Weapons or... Uh, what is that? Dude, look at all these weapons. Oh my god. This is crazy. Fire cartridge. Where do I use that? And how do I use that? That's, that's the question. Huh. Do I attach it to this gun? Hold on. How do I... What? Can I transfer? Move. So, cartridge slots. A cartridge shot gives the enemy, or the weapon, I'm sorry. It is installed on elemental damage depending on the cartridge type, fire, frost, or electricity. To install a cartridge, you need to get an appropriate upgrade for the selected weapon. Use the radio menu to select and install the cart. So I need to upgrade the weapon. Cartridge model. Module. Jesus, my reading sucks. The installation of a cartridge module allows for the application of a thin layer of special chemical polymer to the bullet as it passes through the barrel. So with this one then. No shot, bro. Don't even play with me right now. Hold on a second. Hold on a damn second. I don't really think I can use that fire thing just yet. Hmm. I put the, the little cartridge module, but I'm not sure I know how to... I don't know if that's for the fire or not. Okay, no worries. No need to stress that out right now. We'll figure it out. Uh, what do we have here? Activate the PEC4 birch tree. Oh. Uh, okay. I just realized I don't have a whole lot of health. Yeah, we need one more. I think the other one was on the other side, right? Yeah. The other candle. I don't have a lot of health, which is... I don't know, it's kind of concerning. <laughs> it's actually very concerning. I am... I'm officially concerned. Let's put this candle here. Internal PEC-4 power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. Uh, what? The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, Four canisters. That's just great. So, get the canister from the hot workshop. The algae workshop, the pesticide workshop, and the cold workshop. I think it's these right here. That's hot. Um. Okay, um, so let's look at the inventory because I really don't have a lot, dude. Well, I got these little ones. I guess this is just a big one, right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. 
Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get this part done. Um, where the hell are we exactly? I'm gonna go ahead and save. Can I s oh my god, a save slot. Thank the goodness. Oh god. The medium capsule. Well, that's good. All right, so data has been saved. We still have the task at hand. What is this? Hello? Oh, what the heck is that? No, hold on. Hold, hold on a fucking second, bro. What the hell is this? Boiler room. Okay, that's the algae. You know what? We're here already. Let's just do it. Screw it. We're doing it. Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere <gasps> hypothesis. What the but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. What in the world is this place, dude? Oh. The dynamo. There's so many little pieces of gear and weapons that we can unlock. I'm I'm a bit overwhelmed. It's my first episode, so I'm, I am a bit overwhelmed. But it's fine. We'll get through this together. What do we have here? I think uh, we came from that way, so we got to continue this way. Pesticide workshop. So should we go, if this is the, this is the algae, right? Oh crap. Bro. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Oh God. What the hell is this thing? They are ferocious! But not more ferocious than me. <laughs> I'm so happy I upgraded to this melee weapon. It is so fast. It's time for you to die, bud. Weed whacking time! Oh, dude, what the hell? That's awesome. <laughs> They're so cool looking, too. Look at that. What's creepy about these is that they're not even the robots, so they're humans that kind of mutated. That is creepy. That actually probably makes them creepier. Now, there's nothing important here, so. Except for in that room. We've got another audio log here. What could this possibly be? Heard about the thing they grew in the germination department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. What's that about? Who knows? It's just a little genetic mishap, and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant. They even took a whole tank of PA 400 over there for it. They should have nipped the thing in the bud. They're gonna get themselves in trouble over there. For sure. That ah, should be fine if they keep spraying it. Yeah, it should be fine. Hold on. What the hell is this? Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Hold on. 
it's got to play it safe. That's fine. We can do this, bro. We can. We do not freak out. There is no need to freak out. Ah. Uh, Jeez, how many of you are there? Give me the collateral damage, damn it! Okay, I'm, I'm running out of bullets here. Back to my little axe. Okay, we're doing pretty good, okay? I don't mean to be over the top here, but I think we just kicked some plant ass. And now we've got this whole entire section for us. Just for us alone. In which we can loot peacefully for just a couple of minutes here. What what the hell was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was that? Okay. This is becoming a little concerning now. Why is why does it keep doing that? You gotta make up your mind. You're either dead or you're alive. You know, you gotta, you gotta do one. You can't be both. Oh, actually, you can. If you're a robot. But you're not. You're human. Stop it. You're creeping me out. The nation of science and industry was built by the hardworking peasantry. I'm gathering so much loot that I, I, I honestly don't know what it is. It's overwhelming but we're gonna need all these upgrades like every single one of them okay this one's on fire that might not be a good thing I think I should probably stay a little bit behind oh whoa whoa there's no f what We will not surrender. Oh God. Oh no. Get in line, you sons of bitches. Get in line, fucks. That's not good, that's poison. Take a little health here. Hey! Hey! Can you, can you finish me off, please? What the? Just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here? And I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Okay, so what makes you think the whole place has gone tits up? Uh, maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec. Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Hmm. Uh, what? What makes you think the whole place has gone tits up? This happened in Vavilov alone. People from other complexes would be here already. It's happening everywhere. Isn't it obvious? Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <laughs> okay, hold on. I mean, the only other way to go, I think it's over here. There's no other place to actually go right now get the polymer canister from the algae workshop All right, let's go ahead and do that got this little thing again
Bada bing, bada boom. Problem has been solved. What is that? What is that? Shit, that Hedgie's lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. Usually. Uh, harmless my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Mm -hmm. That's true. Hey, that's true. That is very true. I like how they're just playing these little cartoons here. Look how they run at you, man. What is that? Oh! Why are you so upset? Okay, you are very angry. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> Let's go find it. Very, very angry. Nothing in here, right? I know they're going to be all over the place, and we are going to have to be fighting them, and, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the fact that we are outnumbered. I truly believe we'll be just fine. What is that? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Take this! Huh, I just fought my new ability. Alright. Drop kicks. Just got drop kicked by a robot. It's up there. We've got to go up there. Perfect. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is so cool. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Wait, so I can dodge while holding the charge? I had no idea. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Crap, there's no canister here. I'm sure Fuck. we can find one here somewhere. We found the dispenser. Now we gotta find a goddamn canister. Okay, so it's on the other side. So we're gonna jump across. Alright, we're on the right path, which is what's more important than anything. Alright, right now it's important to be on the right path. And my friend, we are on the right path. And we've got this little robot that thinks he can match up to my capability. You should be dead. You can't swim. You're made of electricity. Impossible. You just die already. I don't know why I keep saying die. They don't really die. Just, who's this? Oh, finally, someone new to talk to. A live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. They've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the lights sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end. But it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. It kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be how the vaccinations fought. Dead people being so chatty. Residual brain activity or something. What else could it be? Hmm. 
miss anyone else here. Don't you worry why. Was anyone else here? Look around. There's plenty of victims. Not all of them were in a talkative mood. But take Ivan, for example. He was an assistant professor. He talked for days on end. Or comrade Ulumbekov. He went silent this morning. Too bad. He was young. All expired now. And still holding on, you see. Don't you wonder why? Oh, yeah. Sure I do. But it's fascinating. Tell people about it if you make it out alive, okay? At least that way, the science will get something useful out of all this carnage. Oh, yeah. Anything for science, right? Well, not anything. If you're suggesting that I'm getting a little carried away. But if you get a chance... Okay. So long. Oh, here it is. Will this canister work? Judging it's... from its shape and oh. diameter, indeed. Alright, so, let's go to the canister slot back there. See what we get from this. Canister detected. Synthesizing luminal polymer. Canister will be filled in 35 days. What? 35? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. Right up over here. I don't Let's go. Know. There's always one thing or the other, man. And we've got a safe slot. This is interesting. All the way up here. What? I feel like there's a boss fight or something coming on. Hopefully I'm wrong, but... Yeah, there we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Oh my god. So speed up the polymer production by overclocking the motors. We gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. Nice. Oh, it just went from 35 to 20. It worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. One, two, four more. Those are five in total. No. No, bro. Don't do this. This is this is BS, man. I knew this was way too simple. <laughs> way too simple. Here come the robots. Hold on. Oh, that was a laser. Oh, fuck out of here, dude. This 
This is not good at all. Why can't this lousy goddamn cable car go any faster? No one draw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. Dashing while jumping. Press B while jumping. Tap B when jumping to make an additional leap while in the air. Alright, here we go. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Why are we here now? Alright, so we need... Whoa! Help me. I just missed. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Now we're talking. So I move this one. Then I move this one. We just need one red. Okay. This needs to become blue now. What? <gasps> uh, okay. Alright, we got a little break. That was good. We got a little bit of a break. Let me reload here. We have ammo for the handgun. It said zero, so I thought we had zero. Two more, and we're done with this garbage. There's two more. I'm gonna wait a little bit more. Cause I know once I activate that electricity, and once I shock it, these robots are gonna come out. So I'm gonna at least wait till I'm right up in front of it. We just need to speed up the last motor. No, well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. This is garbage, bro. All right, good. I don't really care about the other ones as much. Just that one with the laser. That's a bit too much for me. Oh wow, that was fast. Uh, That's better. Pleasant lights all around. Chela's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. Okay. Um. Can we please get? Okay. This is not good for business. This is not good. Get out of here, dude. Holy smokes. Now we gotta make a run for it. We gotta run. We gotta run. Is every Surely single section gonna be this crazy? Isn't always the best approach, Major. Sure, sometimes you can try upgrading your gear or find another way to keep the bots at bay. Oh, uh, what? Okay, so maybe I gotta... Take out all the robots first. Right? Yeah, it seems like it. Oh my god. <laughs> Grab it! You can collect the canister now. Yes. Alright. 
How do I get out? I want to get out. I want to go home. I want to get out of here. Let's go. I went up. That's an elevator. And I'm out. See you later, losers. Dude, that was only one canister. Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. Hmm. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? No, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Blue new polymer canister connected. The tree, it's glowing. It's beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun. That is awesome. All right, so we're going to go to the boiler room. I don't know if every single section is going to be that crazy, because that was crazy. There's a save right here. Oh, what the hell? My God. All right, so can we do some upgrades? So, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do, waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together forever. Don't hold your breath. So, why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, stud. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? Okay, so it allows you to grip all enemies in the area of effect, lifting them up in the air for a short period. If the effect is interrupted or ends, the target will fall to the ground. An upgrade to the electromagnetic unit that increases effective range deals more damage. I like this one. The boiler room. This is getting nuts. What the hell? What is going on here? Is that a chest? Ooh, wow, I just walked right by it. Give me all that good. Look at that. Let's see if we can unlock this. It's probably just like an extra room or something. Maybe not. It's a shortcut, huh? Oh, this is a short. Ooh, nice. 
Oh, that's freaking awesome. We have got to be extremely careful. Kind of dreading this. The algae room was not that simple. Sorry, pal. <laughs> Here's the boiler room. What's up, dude? Doing a <laughs> Boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. Okay, we've got one more, right? It's this one right here. Hey, these are either I'm getting stronger, or these guys are kinda weak. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. Okay, that works. This heavy attack is coming in so clutch, man. So friggin' awesome. Let me loot this before... Before I start putting that thing in there and then maybe get some sort of barrage of enemies trying to kill me. Where is it? Come over here, sweetie pie. Okay, I found the opening. Alright, so I gotta put a bunch of them. Apparently there's one of these already in the pipeline. <laughs> that is interesting. Okay, so we'll control this one. Bring it through here. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? Uh oh. Oh god, of course they're coming out. Of course they're coming out to play. Where are they? Come on, I got a fucking barrel of acid. Alright. That's what I thought. Oh! Come on, throw it! Man, that doesn't do anything! Let's see, where's the other one? Go through here. I'm gonna make another, right? This is super, super interesting the way they're making us do these tasks. Fuck off, dude. We ain't scared no more. Is there another one? I think we're clear of the robots and there's one more boiler. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Now we gotta bring this, man, this one's annoying. This is like super far. All the way this way. I believe. We gotta go down and up top. Keep going across the wall. And then I think we stop here. And it's not this one, because that one goes out. So we gotta go through the middle. And through here. Okay. Alright, we're here already. Wasn't as bad as I was thinking. It's all just figuring it out. And there it goes. Well, Employees may return to their workstations. Please do. What a relief. Yeah, they're a bit more aggressive now. I guess the ones that were here at the beginning were kind of like burnt and maybe malfunctioning, so they were weaker as well. And a lot slower. But not these guys. Nope. 
Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of this homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. Okay. Data. We'll keep saving up capsules and materials for later upgrades. Right now, we must finish this. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Whoa. All right, so wait, do we come from here? How do I... How in the world? Seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. <laughs> Correct. All right. Actually, this is not a good idea to be so high up here. We just take the safest route. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Doctor Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Doctor Larissa Filatova, M.D., has worked with Doctor Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. <laughs> You scan to me. Thermal polymer canister connected. There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Attention. Distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. Hmm. And that's this sign, right? Oh boy. I think we should probably find a safe spot first. This is going to be the pesticide workshop and the cold workshop. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, 
I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck. Mm. And snapped it. Right here. Jesus. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I mean, why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. All right, so we've got the pesticides. This has got to be some kind of mistake. And the cold workshop. Such enough should have foreseen this. He must have. I'm sure of it. Hmm. It's got to be a mistake. What else could it be? We were dreaming of going to the stars, working for the greater good. And now this. A shame. Oh boy. A new save. Yes. Thank you. Let me see if I have. Let's see if I have enough for that new melee weapon. Insufficient resources. Ah, oh, that sucks. We'll be back. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. Well, that's just freaking great. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Are you kidding me? What is going on here? Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. You guys are lucky you're behind that. Frickin'. You know what? Screw this. Let's go. Come on. I invite you. Oh, I could have. Oh, okay. I could have done that to. To block them. Okay, well, I'm, I'm a little bit too late to that party. What happened to this guy? Oh, the rescue team, finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. Interesting. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. 
There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks. Like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasian. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Let's go. Let's do this. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that was easy. Is it dead? If I had fire, I could easily burn that shit. Oh, it's dead anyways. So it doesn't matter anymore. I feel so That's terrible. Some neat fish. Oh god, they're coming. They're coming! Oh, they're over there. Perfect. Shoot, dude. Alright. Fuck it. Is it just me or the guys that pile up just coming? Not getting. They've got different polymers over there. With different characteristics. Uh, polymers. What right over there? They spliced them. Hold on, hold on. That makes sense. Don't get too smart. Buddy. Oh God. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's got to charge up. Oh. I keep turning my chirp around with my elbow, but it's sick. I have to get rid of that function in the next update. You guys ain't that bad. This is by far the best choice I've made in this game right now. That was an assassin chicken. I had to get rid of it. My man's was in trouble. No way in hell we're about to be eaten by chickens. That is an insult to my human race. God damn clusterfuck. You got that right. Let's go in here. Oh, there's a purple reading. What is that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. What is going on here, dude? Oh. Yes. It's much better. Opera is doing wonders for me. Definitely. So, on with my log. Day 783. Ah, yes. At first, it was extremely difficult for me not to pay any attention to this <clears throat> circle of life, as they call it. But then I realized there's something... Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. Circle of life, indeed. Why did they even have to invent a name like that? Their superiors think that propaganda increases productivity. <laughs> so to them, their employees are nothing but mindless swine. Like 
bananas. But this isn't killing, it's just maintaining the circle of life. You know, yeah, the handle's attached. Even if we're just a swine, who gave us the right to mistreat the other swine, right? I'm up, sorry for you. I truly am. God knows it's true. You died a hero's death. I'm even thinking about building you a memorial. I promise I will. Sometimes I think that when put to classical music, the convulsions themselves become a kind of dance of death. It's spinning. After all, that should do the trick. Keep being warm, and yet the same egg keeps on dying. I can't be right. I can't. Ah, to hell with it. I should ask to be transferred to another department. If only temporarily. No, keep your claws off that. Not this recording. Oh, okay, I'll switch it off. What is going on here? What if I open up this door? Oh! That's what happens! It's a shortcut or what? Oh my god. Could it be this one? Or maybe this one? Holy crap. I just kill all of them. It's standard to the manufacturing process. What the? It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. Fading data. Yo, what? That's it's abusive. huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Bro, this is abusive. Come here, little punk. <laughs> You're gonna die! One hitter, quitter. Dude, I'm shit. talking about. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Alright, hold on. These little leeches. Or whatever they are. Damn, you saw that shot? That was pretty clean. Alright, so we gotta figure this out. Sounds a little too easy. Yeah, this Looks is like terrible. we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Uh okay, so I'm just gonna wait here, maybe. It's not that bad. Shit. What's the matter with it? Oh, what am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you do that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. All right, we gotta take these boys out. No big deal. This is kind of creepy to me. I don't know about you guys, but this, I don't know. This, it just feels like I'm playing some sort of horror zombie survival game at this point. Which is not good. Keep the fans on, right? Bro. 
bro. Oh my god. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Do I have to fight off this robot too? Oh my god. Yep, that one's new. Ooh, that's dangerous. That one's dangerous. Hold on, but I'm dangerous too. Shit. Whoa! How about this? Oh my god. Will you fucking die? Alright, good. I don't mean to be overly optimistic, but I think the worst is over. Let's hope I'm right. I kind of wish we could run and loot at the same time. Hopefully, once we upgrade our abilities here as we progress in this story, that, that's, that becomes an option. Yeah, because stopping every time just to loot is a little bit irritating. And very time-consuming. Right, so we're going to go straight back over there to the control room and see if the canister is full. I don't think it is because it is telling me to wait for the canister to, full, to be filled up. But it's just me being uh, optimistic once again. We got to press the button. This is not good. Now this one needs to be zapped. I love how they play this music here for us. <laughs> That's just awesome. Everything's supposed to be okay, but it's not. I need this crap to finish up already. I don't like this. Oh my god. I need to see if I find an upgrade to kind of make this regenerating process faster for the electricity. shouldn't even try to fight them. They're just going to keep spawning in. Maybe I ought to just wait for the uh, fans to go red and kind of focus on that instead. Fans, we got 
more fans. Let's go. I could probably also just use this on them as well. The electric shock. Come on, bro. That thing's gotta be filled up already. There, come on. Don't fail me now. What are we waiting for at this point? Nice. Wow, that took a long time. Let him get in here. Bro, look at all the resources. Let me get that. You know how hard I work for this junk? Let me get that. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Exactly. Let's get the hell out of here. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Mm. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was not supposed to happen. I was supposed to grab onto it and then, you know. Well, let's go. We're here. We're prepared for war. Little bumps. Let's go. Want some of this too, partner? Oh, that feels awesome. Feels like a little shortcut of sorts. Hey there, fellas. What are you guys doing? Watch out! Is there anything in here? Oh, there's just more robots. That's all. I am dying to get the other melee weapon because it's even faster and stronger than this one. And this has been a blast. Much better than the first axe we acquired. Sweet! Let's go! What's in here? It's just an empty room. Of course, it's just an empty room. It's like that heart attack, that, that power-up melee is super, super clutch. I feel like we're getting somewhere important in the story at this point now. Things are starting to ramp up. Okay, this is great. Let's get it. Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So? What do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. Uh-oh. Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh. You could, you 
You can wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, and the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You'll have to find a PA-400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA-400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. Uh, Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder, or we're screwed! Shit, that thing is huge. Why Whoa. the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Oh my Where do God. I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Wow. So, just when we're about to get out of here, now we've got a possible boss fight. And it's... It's massive. Wow. So, believe it or not, I've been playing for over three hours. I haven't stopped playing this game. So I think this is the right time to call it quits. On the next episode, hopefully we get rid of this monstrosity we have ahead of us now. And maybe get out of this facility, finally. And see what else the story has to unfold. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see more Atomic Heart, make sure you guys drop the video a like. And a massive thank you to Focus Entertainment for the review code. I'll catch you later.